Are you ready to tone up and stretch your body too? Well, awesome, because today on X Hit, your trainer, Rebecca Louise, is going to take you through a yoga workout. We're going to start off our yoga workout by coming to the ground. We're going to just do a nice stretch, inhaling and exhaling onto your hands and knees. For a minute, we're just going to arch our back, just holding it here. And then we're just going to arch it, okay? So we're just going to make a nice curve with our back. Just get your knees comfortable. You might want to take them just a little bit further apart. And then just extend your back out and look up to the ceiling, okay? Just nice and high. Open that chest up. And let's do it a few more times. So get a nice curve in your back. Just really stretch out. And then as you exhale, we're going to do a nice arch in our back. Okay, so it's super important that we warm up when we do exercise so we don't injure ourselves. Let's just do this one more time. That's it. Nice curve in your back. Okay, and exhale and out. Okay, so we're going to start off with our first exercise. We're going to be in the same position that we were in for our initial stretching. We're going to curve the spine. And then we're going to take the opposite arm to opposite leg out in front of us and give a nice stretch, okay? And then slowly bring it back together and curve. And let's take out the other arm and leg nice and slowly. Now we're doing yoga, so we just want to be in a nice and calm state. No rapid, sharp movements. Just taking it nice and gently, thinking about the body and the movements we're making. Okay, so you've got a minute of this. Let's really try and curve our spine and then slowly bring our arm out and leg. Just try and use your eyes just to follow as you come up. So curve that spine and extend. Pull that tummy in, hold it there and bring it back. Okay, let's keep it going. And as you come out, I want you to exhale, okay? and gently bring it back down. Okay, relax that back, come round to sitting. Okay, so come down, I want your back flat on the ground. We're gonna hold a bridge, we're gonna hold it here for 20 seconds, okay? So put your arms out to the side, and after 20 seconds, we're gonna bring one of our leg out, to extend it, and then change it for the other one for the next 40 seconds, okay? So really try and pull that bottom up, on a nice flat surface here, arms out to the side, and are you ready? Let's extend that leg out. So we're just going to hold it here for a few seconds, and then bring it back down. Everything nice and slow, okay? Just really inhaling and exhaling, just thinking about your breathing. Let's change over to that other leg again, extending it out. That's it, nice and calm. Just be and think about all the motions that your body is making. Okay, let's give it one more on each leg. So extend it out. Now just really try and lift up that leg and let's swap onto the last time. Hold it here and relax. Okay, now I just want you to come up into a V sit and I just want you to hold, put your hands behind your thighs here and we're just going to hold it here for a minute. So open up that chest, up to the sky. If it helps, you can put your arms out here. I don't want you to really grip onto your leg. Just hold it here and then just straighten out that back, okay? So really open up that chest. Feel those abs working. Your legs are going to tingle a little bit. And then just chest up to the sky. That's it, really squeeze those abs to make it a little bit harder. You can just go back a little bit, open up that V more. You're going to feel more of a strain in those quads and those abs. But remember, as you come back, you still want to make sure that your chest is open. Okay, and breathe. Keep it going. How are you feeling? Are you getting hot? I'm definitely feeling my heart rate up. Even with yoga, you can really start to feel it. Okay, so just release those legs. We're going to stay in this position where we're going to come up onto our elbows and we're going to hold our reverse plank here. Now squeeze those glutes. You're going to be working out those shoulders and your abs. This is a hard one to hold. 
But just look up to the sky and just keep inhaling and exhaling. Just listen to my voice, just keep holding it there. You're gonna be burning a sweat. I can feel it in my legs. And just see if each time you can just keep squeezing those glutes, okay? It's gonna bring your bottom off the ground. That's it, just think about pulling those ab muscles in. You can drop those calves down onto the ground if you need to. And then just push up off the ground and open up those shoulders. Squeeze those glutes, okay, keep it going, keep inhaling and exhaling. Great job, everyone, keep it going. This is a great workout because you really are working those shoulders, abs and your glutes. Okay, keep it going and release. Okay, that's a tricky one, so good job there. Now, coming up to standing, I want you to get in a nice wide lunge, as wide as you can. Always watch that knee doesn't go over the toe. And we're gonna come up, we're gonna squat down, and as we come up, we're gonna stretch over our leg, okay? So toning up our leg muscles, as well as giving us a good stretch. Okay, so we're gonna do a minute on each side. We're just gonna take it nice and slow. And you'll be able to work out that each time you come down, you're gonna feel more of a stretch, you're gonna be able to get closer to your leg, okay? So each time, your head's gonna be able to get closer to your leg. Okay, now you really need to think about activating your core as well, because that's gonna help stabilize you. Nice low in that squat, and then let's go all the way down. Now this is the tricky bit, is when you come up, is holding that pose. So make sure that your abs are activated. Keep nice and strong in the center. And down you go, feel that nice stretch, hold it there, and come back up again. Okay, nice and low. Now I want you to take a look at your knee and double check that it's not over your toes. And let's do one more stretch on this side. Bring it back up. And let's switch over to the other leg. So put that left leg out in front, arms up and lunge down. Taking it over that leg. Might need to adjust yourself just to check that you're in the right position. Come back up again and down. Nice and gently. Now you're gonna find that one leg is always stronger than the other. This is my weak leg, so I'm gonna have to work harder. You can see that you're more wobbly on one side. Taking it down and up. Okay, I just want you to keep inhaling and exhaling. Great job, everybody. It's nice also when you're toning up to really stretch out those muscles as well. Take it down nice and slowly. Squeeze those abs as you come up. Give me a nice stretch up to the ski ceiling. Skiing, that's a new word. And up again. Oh, even lost my balance. Coming down, up, and stretch out over that leg. Okay, just hold it there and bringing it up again. That's it. And as you come up, nice to the ceiling and then down again. Okay, how are you feeling? Great job. Relax those legs, give them a little bit of a wiggle. And we're gonna come into downward dog, okay? So I'm gonna start with my legs slightly apart, more than hip width apart. I'm gonna walk down until I'm in downward dog, get yourself comfortable and move your legs. And we're gonna extend one leg up at a time, nice and slowly, okay? And we've got this for a minute. Whew. Okay, so you should be, heart rate should be up. You should be feeling a sweat. Keep giving me a stretch in between after you've each done each leg. So lifting up, hold it there, and bring it down. How are you feeling, everyone? You feeling good? Feeling the stretch? Feeling your body toning up? That's it, give me a nice stretch in the middle. And then let's lift that left leg up again. And down, okay. Nice and slowly, okay? We're doing yoga, so we really just wanna think about what our body's movements are doing taking our time, breathing, and then just giving ourselves a nice stretch. Okay, that's it, lift that leg up. And let's take the other one up for the last time. Up, and down. Whew. Now I want you to stay in this position. We're just gonna come down into a plank here. We're gonna hold it here for 20 seconds, okay? So pull in that tummy, and after 20 seconds, we're gonna take it into a downward dog, okay? So we're going to do a nice stretch. Pull in those abs, squeeze those glutes, arms underneath your shoulders. 
Okay, let's take into that downward dog. So push back. You might want to just adjust your hands and feet. Feel that stretch down the back of your hamstrings and your calves. Okay, and in 20 seconds, we're going to take it down into a child's pose, okay? So back down to stretching. We've done a few toning exercises, and then we're going to stretch out our body, okay? So drop those knees to the ground, and then pull your feet in and sit back onto your heels. Really stretch out those arms, and just feel the stretch across your back. Whew, okay, and breathe. Great job, everyone. Nice yoga exercise and workout for you there. Just hold it here for a little bit longer. See if you can just creep those hands a bit further forward. And relax. Okay, now gently come up, sit up, and come up to standing. Oh, well, it makes a nice change for me to give you some yoga and some Pilates. That We've also got other workouts on our channel, so make sure you check out the playlist of Pilates and yoga. But maybe you're looking for something that's going to strengthen you a little bit more. So we've got ab workouts, leg workouts, cardio, everything for you and exit. So make sure you subscribe. If you've got any questions about the workouts we just did, you can contact me on Twitter at The Model Pilot or Facebook, Rebecca Louise Fitness. Make sure you stay fit and I'll see you again next time.